Hello everyone, it's Bon and welcome back to my channel. So about a month ago, as the restrictions here in Alberta, Canada started to soften a bit, I asked my friends to come hang out with me in an outdoor settings to help me make some content for this channel. We went to the East Village here in Calgary, which is an up-and-coming hip neighborhood just outside of downtown Calgary. It's very close to the river, so you can walk around and see a lot of historic places, as well as new places to hang out. If you've been following along my channel shenanigans, you'd know that I own a few plastic reusable film cameras now, a few of which I made a review of already. So I thought, why not lend them to my friends and go for a photo walk? I brought with me a few plastic cameras and 400 ISO films, and basically let my friends choose which pair they would like to use. It feels like when you're picking your first Pokemon. <laughs> that one was my friend David, who is a computer scientist like me but has a strong design background. He chose the Kodak M35 and Kodak Ultramax. Next to David here is Guy, who works as a cinematographer. He chose the double film show camera as well as the Kodak Portra 400. And here's Bianca, who's an artistic associate at a theater company. She chose the Kodak M38 paired with Lomography Color Negative 400. What was left for me to use was the Lomography Simple Use Film Camera Optimistic Ox Edition with a roll of Lomochrome Metropolis inside. And here are some of our initial photos. I thought it would be interesting to see how my friends with varying degrees of exposure to film photography would use these plastic cameras. This is basically David's first time shooting film, while Bianca has previous experience using point-and-shoot film cameras, may or may not be because of my influence, <laughs> and Key, I think, has the most exposure to photography as he is a legit cinematographer. I didn't want to influence what photos they should take, so aside from telling them how to use the cameras, I just let them shoot whatever they wanted as we walked around the neighborhood. So yeah, we had a lot of fun doing this exercise and we're very pleased with the resulting photos, which I will be showing in this video now, so please stick around if you'd like to see that. So what kind of photos have you been taking so far? I'm being recorded. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know, just things that catch my eye. Right. I feel like because I don't have a DSLR, that like I have to be mindful of the shots that I take. So I'm on shot number 15 out of 36. Nice. And it's been how many hours now? Two, three hours, yeah. I feel like with the camera would have been like, you know, Snacks. take 20 <laughs> for one shot and hope that one of them is good. 
And here, I, I don't know if it's gonna be good or not. I guess we'll find out today. We'll find out. How many photos? Me too. <laughs> I finished mine. Oh no, it's gone. Since the roll of film in my Lomography Simple Use camera only had 27 shots, I basically finished the roll earlier than my friends did, so I decided to pop in a roll of Lomography Lomochrome Purple into my camera. By now, we've circled back to the area where we started and my friends finished shooting the rest of their films. I told them how to unload the film from their cameras, however, Bianca's film got stuck when I opened her camera and some film got exposed, which was unfortunate. However, a few light leaks here and there didn't really ruin her photos that much.
Some actually gained character, arguably. But that's pretty much the end of our photo walk. I brought the films to my local film lab for development and ended the day. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed that little exercise that I did with my friends. If you want to hear their personal thoughts about it, I will be uploading a second part to this video showing the Zoom call that we had a few days later after I got the film developed. Basically, it's their first time seeing their photos and everybody got the chance to comment on them. The thing is that the Zoom call took about three hours and even if I tried to distill it to the relevant bits, it's still about an hour and a half long. So. Yeah, here's a preview. I nice. Have to say, damn. I'm impressed. Really good. Did really I take good. this photo? I took this? Really? Yes. <laughs> I really love like, this one, actually. That's an amazing photo. Holy crap. Oh, this <laughs> one. I like that one. And I was very happy with this photo. I don't know. I just like how Bon is looking down, Giz looking really down. Really nice. Today, and David's looking there. But I think, oh wait, we I missed jumped. that. What? I didn't talk about this. <laughs> Let's take a selfie. Awesome. Oh, this one turned out all right. This is so cool. I was cool. like, why I can take 90s photos of things and not of myself? Like, look at the flash shining. This is something that only grandparents, you know, <laughs> have the ability of doing in <laughs> your childhood parties. This is amazing. Like, look at that. I love Flash. Oh my god. If you're still interested, I will be putting the links in the description down below, as well as right over here. But yeah, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. And I will see you all in the next one. Cheers. <laughs>